Hello everybody, I'm Nathan here with a little update on my survival game. I haven't really gotten very much done since the last update. Um, and I, I've got a good reason for that. There's this... Is free move on? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um. Anyways, I've got a good reason for it. Guy hit me up on Twitter and was like... Hey, can you help me out with making a a sub game or I don't really know. So far, I've just been working on one mod. I was like, yeah, I suppose I could do that. And so I've been spending a lot of time doing that. So much so that I really haven't added anything new to the game other than, and now this is not actually my own creation here, but we got the goblins. This guy's got a nice little hat. I don't know how long it's going to be before they knock my torches down. Last time I was here, there was only one goblin. So another one has appeared, which is cool. Um, goblins don't attack you unless you attack them first. And even then, they don't really attack you. Oh, man. I just killed that poor guy by giving him some mushroom spores. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. Wow, that was insane. Who would have thunk that giving a giving a goblin some mushroom spores would kill him? All right, so we added in the goblins here. Um, I've updated a few of the mods that are included in game. So the valley map gen, which is the map gen that we are using for this, has been updated. So it now has the latest and greatest, most phenomenal features. I honestly don't know what the changes were, but there was an update. So I went ahead and threw that in. Um, let's see what other updates. The hiking mod had an update, which as you may or may not know is one that provides... I thought you could climb up these somehow. There we go. It provides... Wow. I don't know what happened there. Why is this super jittery? Anyways, the hiking mod provides like these little signs and stuff. I haven't used them at all yet in-game. But there was an update for that. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, I noticed that now I have not seen the missing texture errors. So those few missing textures that there were must have been fixed, so that's always good. Uh, I've made little progress, and by little I mean very little progress, on my smoker. Um, let's go inside take a look here. Right now it can take two fuels, trees or jungle tree. It'll only let you put the stakes in. Let's hope this doesn't crash the game. It's been crashing it before. Okay. And then let's put on a non burning smoker here. Alright, so you can only put raw steaks in it. If you try putting anything else in, it should kick them back to. What? Or wait. No, I had to comment that out because that kept crashing it. That's what it was. It kept giving me this weird error that it's expecting a numerical value in return. So basically, I've got two fields here. I have, this is meat, which is an inventory of 2 by 3 and Then we have fuel, which is a 1 by 1 And I set up some code, so if the item you put into the meat field is not steak underscore raw, it's return 1, or return 0, I forget which. So it kicks it out. However, doing that makes nothing else work. But we've got this going. I've changed it so it's only 10 seconds long. So you put a piece of meat or a piece, put a piece of wood in there and the smoker says burning smoker and then it says bucket filled to sap please replace because I copied some code from elsewhere and it smokes one steak. Not all the steaks that are in inventory. And I don't know how to have it check which inventory slots are filled and then replace them with the smoked steak. I'm sure there must be a way to do it. 
but I don't know. So that's where we're at with smokers. Currently, they will smoke one chunk of meat. And it takes 10 seconds to do it. It doesn't burn up the wood. But it never goes back to a non-running smoker. So it never cooks any more of the meat. Also, you can move the meat around when it's cooking. Which is something I don't want to allow, but I haven't been able to figure out how to do that either. Again, mainly because I've been spending a lot of time working on making these mods for that other guy. So, I blame it on being too generous and helping out other people. With that being said, that's all there is to this update. Sorry, there's really not a lot. I will have an update on GitHub, so you can download or pull the latest revisions, which again is basically just the mods that have been updated that were made by other people. Oh, ooh, ooh. I almost forgot one thing. Um, yes, I do. Um, I did, because I'm making the stuff for this other guy. Um, what did we call that? Night stand? I think was what it was called. Oh. I do need to make a new texture for this yet. This is the texture I created for him. I did create this new item, um, which is just... Oh, it still says bedside cabinet here. I need to change it so it's also his nightstand. It's a little nightstand. It takes two chests, uh, seven hunks of wood, and place it. Looks like that. I don't know if I'm going to keep this kind of goofy layout for sure or not. I don't know. But that's what it gives you. A normal chest only gives you four by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by three, and then another nine here. So it gives you, wait, that'd be a nine by four, and that's an eight by four. So it gives you four extra inventory slots. Wahoo. Um, so I may change that. And this really doesn't go with the theme, so I'm probably gonna eliminate the background here. Like I said, I just, copy the code directly. I did all the coding. I made the model. I pretty much did it all. So I just copied it and put it into my own because the stuff that's going into this guy's mod that I'm making, most of it does not fit. Goblins don't honestly really fit into the survival genre that I am aiming for, but they're a nice little addition to the underground. They knock down torches. That's really a about it so and with future updates that might change but they're, they're a nice little addition um and they'll probably be one of the optional things um i'm planning on doing a configuration file so you can have monsters or not and monsters is pretty much going to be all sorts of like uh what's the word here the non-real things so like the zombies the goblins, whatever other little mischievous creatures that I might have that would go around and actually like attack you and stuff. Because wild animals, by and large, won't. They're going to avoid you, and you know there won't be too many of them. So hunting's not really going to be a huge part of this game. It's more going to be foraging. I plan on changing some crop stuff around too, so they take a lot longer to grow. So it's super, super easy just to get tons of food. This is the idea is that it's hard. It's hard to survive without just starving. So, those are some plans. That's it for this update. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next week, and hopefully, we'll have a little more to show off. Uh, download link will be in the description, so you can grab the latest edition and try it out. As far as I know, there's not any serious bugs. So, if there are, if you discover something, please, please, please open an issue on GitHub and report it so I can get that fixed. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next week.